enjoying the sort of comfort food series and intimate look into me because this is the type of food that brings me comfort on those cold winter nights on those days when I miss hearing the ocean and smelling that salty briny breeze of the ocean when I miss the countryside and the little village I grew up in today this one is so simple don't even need a recipe. Now, I grew up eating Brunswick Sardine. It was good at the time, and it was the only option available in Trinidad and Tobago as far as sardines goes. Today, we have the stuff from Portugal, like this one here and the other one there. And I tend to, I, when I can afford it, because this is more affordable, yeah? This is double the price. And then there's some even quadruple the price. And the odd time, I do splurge and I get it, but... Um, I'll be using this one here today, this Portuguese sardine. And you know, it's very simple. Some people call it sardine choker. I just call it sardine. And you know, as a great snack with crackers, sandwich, bread, roti. In my case here, if you look over here, you'll see I have some rice cooked. That's day old rice, that's from last night. And I just heat up some dal, so dal rice and sardine. Yo man, a couple slices of avocado and your boy golden. We'll need a thinly sliced onion, uh, medium to large tomato sliced thin, black pepper. I have here a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in a little frying pan. I'll show you what we'll do with that. We'll need some lemon juice or lime, whatever you have. And I have here a green scotch bonnet pepper, not fully mature, so not that intense heat but it will give me a good kick you can leave that out if you want totally up to you if you want to put a little pimento pepper instead and a pimento pepper is more of a flavor or a seasoning pepper no heat however and we've talked about this before should it be planted should the pimento trees be planted close in close proximity to hot pepper they can cross pollinate and you may end up with a spicy or a hot pimento pepper you put some green onions in there totally up to you but this is the sort of setup right now take it out of packaging crack it open and what i like doing yeah the sunflower oil is cool eh? but because i'm going to be tempering this with some olive oil i don't need all of that oil all of that fat in my life so what i'm going to do is drain that yeah I should be doing that not in the sink because ladies and gentlemen you do not want to put any sort of fat or oil or grease down your sink. I have to run hot water for a while. With the sardines you have a couple options here. One you can crush it and use it right away exactly like that. My mommy however she would always break them open like so split them down the center and the sort of entrails, the sort of guts or whatever you want to call that, that's going to go into the rubbish. And she also removes the vertebrae. Yeah, totally optional. If, like I said, it's totally, if you want to do it, it's up to you. Because as a matter of fact, everything has been cooked, it's been cured. So you really don't have to fret too much about the entrails and stuff like that because you know, it's part of the game, you know what I mean? It's all been removed and I'm just going to hit it a little crush with a fork here. And this is enough for one person so one can, you know, <laughs> it's funny. There were six of us growing up, mommy, daddy, my two sisters and my brother. And I think two cans of this or two tin as we would say used to be enough now today i'm hungry and i'm you know i could probably share this with a person but i'm not in the sharing mood today so we've got the sardine in there to that i'm gonna hit that with some black pepper and i usually don't add any salt if you want to put a pinch of salt totally up to you in goes that scotch bonnet pepper and we're gonna follow up with the tomato thinly sliced tomato lime or lemon juice and you don't want much just about a teaspoon or so just to kill some of the fishiness of it all yeah so in goes that lemon juice and what I'm gonna do now is give that a thorough mix yeah the onion still got to go in there and of course we have you know and <clears throat> you can probably call this a salad and get away with it because look how nice that's looking I like I like I'm telling you it's looking good 
And with the onions thinly sliced, I like pouring it on the very top. And I'll show you what we'll do next. Now what you would do, you would heat the oil until you start seeing whispers of smoke like this. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pie. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Then you're gonna pour that oil directly over the onion. And this is why I kept the onion at the very top, at the very surface. It's because what I'm trying to do is sort of take the bite out of the onion, the, the sort of <laughs> oniony of the onion. <laughs> Does that even make sense, Uncle Chris? What are you saying? Anyhow, that is what we want to do because that's going to allow that hot oil is going to sort of gently cook the onions. And in doing so, it's going to flavor that oil. And all you need to do now is mix that in like so. And you can use less oil if you're you're cutting back on the calories and you're concerned about the oil and stuff like that here. Yeah, but this here, this, I'm telling you boy, dal, rice, yellow split peas dal, rice, or if you have lentils, cool too, and sardine. Sardine choker, if that is what you call it, you're comfortable with, yo, call it so. Uncle Chris here saying, I do hope you get an opportunity. And you know, you don't have to cook rice, you don't have to cook dal. Use it as a topping for crackers. Let me go in a little, a little tighter. Use it as a topping for crackers or an open face sandwich. And I say sandwich because it, <laughs> again, it's a comfortable word for me. Diary? Diary. Oh, parsley? Sure. Green onion? Sure. Um, what else can you put in there for flavor? I mean, to say, you don't really need to add anything else, yeah? You're good right there. 